Hi everyone who's watching the replay. So today I'm sharing with you a very healthy hot chocolate recipe. It can actually be um, also raw. And um, I hope that you guys will enjoy this. Perfect. So I'm going to start right away. Uh, there's a few people excited with this recipe because um, when you start eating healthier, you're not sure of what to eat and um, what kind of treat to have. And sometimes you actually want to go back to childhood favorites. So today I'm making uh, <laughs> hot chocolate, which is um, obviously the healthier version. And um, that will probably satisfy your inner child. And this recipe is definitely kids approved. My daughter had two full cups. <laughs> and um, since I wanted, before sharing the recipe with you, I wanted to make sure that I have the right uh, ingredients and measure everything right to share it with you. Um, I just had a cup and I can guarantee that you definitely have an energy boost after it because it, it's energizing and energizing like a up until the, my fingertips. So if I'm talking too fast, just um, don't mind it. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna start by putting a super ripe room temperature banana. Now you can also, if you don't have it, oh hi Nicole, hi, thanks for coming in. So if you don't have room temperature bananas but you do have some in the freezer, you can you can use those. Um, your mix might be a little bit colder, but you can always warm it up on the stovetop. You don't. You just don't need to bring it to a boiling temperature, but you can just warm it up, and it will still be considered raw up until, like it's like a hundred degrees. But um, if you don't mind, if you just want to eat healthier and you're not making sure like it's a hundred percent raw, then you can definitely warm it up on the stovetop. So I added one. Super, super ripe banana. Then what I did is put a quarter cup of dates in hot water to make them uh, uh, more soft. Um, if you don't have time, you can actually just put them in if you have a good high speed blender. But I like it, it kind of helps to break them down. So that's about a quarter cup. Um, I calculate it eight small dates, so that would be about three midgel dates if you use those ones. When I make smoothies or blend stuff, I usually use the regular dates, and then I keep the good, um, luxurious ones for snacking or just eating them like that, or even with like stuffing them with nuts or making like cool little desserts. So if you're just popping in, just say hi. And um, if you miss the beginning, it's fine because you can always watch the replay and this recipe is also going to be shared on YouTube. So I put in um, one ripe banana, a quarter cups of dates. Now what I'm gonna put is, um, I'm gonna put two, two teaspoon, no, sorry, one and a half teaspoon of cowlog powder. Um, because it's no caffeine and um, I find it's the healthiest version of cacao but if you like cacao and you it's hard for you to eat uh, cacao you can actually use like a teaspoon of cacao and half a teaspoon of cacao powder um, so my daughter is used to cacao powder like for her like this is her chocolate but um, obviously, if your kids are not used to cacao, you can actually use um, just regular cacao or raw cacao. So here, I this is a, a tablespoon, and I just fill in a, the half of it because um, one and a half teaspoon is half of a tablespoon. And um, right before doing this live. I made uh, I made it just to make sure that I measured the ingredients so I have the ingredients right for you. So sorry, this is right in my face. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, then I'm gonna do one cup of coconut water. Now, 
every time I drink coconut water, for some reason it reminds me of the taste of hot chocolate. So um, it felt just right to put uh, coconut water. This looks yummy. Oh, thank you. It is healthy because we, we are, um, we are power with the carbohydrates. So these are nice and healthy carbohydrates. And it's a no fat or low fat version. So, so far, there's actually uh, no added fats. And the fats are the ones that we have to um, make sure to keep them low because for a number of reasons. But for me, the reason why I watch out for the fat is because the fat makes me insulin resistant. So if I do add fats, it will make me need to take more insulin injection. But if I do uh, keep it low fat or no fat, I don't need to take as much insulin. So it makes a big difference in my case. In, your, in other people's cases that are not dealing with the blood sugar issues, um, might not realize it, but the high fat is actually um, very hard for the system because our body, we get the energy from healthy carbohydrates. So in here, I'm going to repeat fast fast. It's one super ripe banana, then we have a quarter cup of dates, one cup of coconut water, and one and a half teaspoon of caramel powder. So I'm just going to start and blend this. So for some reason, this batch looks a lot lighter. So I'm gonna add more caramel powder in there uh, because I know with the color, if I have enough or not inside. So for this, um, for this video, I'm just gonna stop to blend it right now because it's perfectly blended. But if you want it warm, you can actually keep going because I'm in on the setting, like the soup setting, to make warm. Um, otherwise, uh, you can put straight in a, on the stove and just warm it up without bringing it to a boil. Um, otherwise, I wanted to mention that if you are in a hurry and you really want this to be super energized, uh, you can actually use hot water, hot boiled water, instead of using a cup of coconut water. So it won't be the exact same taste, but it's perfect, um, it still works um, to make it faster, but I do enjoy the taste with the coconut water better. Um, yes, it is in fact, Nicole, the perfect blend. Um, it is very similar to um, like a Daterade, if you've ever heard of this. Um, the difference is the banana. It's like a Daterade, um, a chocolate Daterade and a banana milk. So you, if you see how the banana is gonna add like that creaminess and um, and then you can see why you get lots of energy. Um, I'm so sorry, I had a full cup before recording this live and I feel super energized. So um, if I'm talking too fast, uh, just let me know if you didn't understand completely. So now, see, it's still warm. You can, I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of here. I don't know, no, not with the sun. But um, there's steam coming out. So it's it's still warm to touch. Uh, it would actually be perfect right now, this temperature for kids. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna try to show you without pouring it on my computer. Uh, it's pretty hard to see. Okay, let me just pour it right here. Yes, yes, banana, great potassium. Uh, coconut water as well, great potassium. Dates are filled with minerals. And one of the things that people don't realize, um, even when you are, when you're scared of having high blood sugar from eating dates, um, it's a good high blood sugar, if I can say, because dates actually contains chromium, and chromium is a mineral that helps to balance blood sugar levels. So nature has thought of everything. We just don't have to worry about it. Um, and do whatever feels right. 
But uh, yes, full of mineral, full of uh, potassium, and um, very, very nutritious. So for kids, it's excellent. So I'm going to put it right in so that you guys can see how delicious this looks. See how creamy it is? And now, to make it extra decadent, I'm going to add, I'm going to, let me just put this back right here. I'm going to add, so right before uh, recording, I have done co coconut whipped cream. This, it's just coconut. Um, I got a can. So this is the part that's not raw because technically um, the can is not raw. But you can actually use, um, I guess, young coconut and just blend that coconut meat into some kind of cream and just add it on top. Um, I just poured, so this is full fat coconut milk. You take the, you put it in the fridge overnight, <laughs> sorry, and then you take that, um, <clears throat> the hardest part, and then you uh, mix that like like the old time mixers, like you would do like whipped cream, and then you mix it up until it's coconut whipped cream, and it's super super good. <laughs> so um, my daughter just had like a lot of it. I just put a little bit on mine because I watched. The fat and taste, but for kids, um, it's actually very good fat. Oops, I made it drip, so I'm gonna make a mess right here. Uh oh, I just poured it in the right direction, in the wrong direction. But look how good that looks. Like this is a super. Uh, I just. <laughs> Yes, Melly, I will uh, post the ingredient the, with the exact measurement. And um, right now, I'm just making a complete mess on my kitchen counter, but it's fine because I want to show you how delicious this looks. And um, because the coconut, the coconut cream is actually a little bit colder, um, <laughs> it just made a, bit, a mess. But it's fine. It tastes delicious. So my daughter just had two cup of those, and uh, she wanted me to mix it around um, with a straw, like a glass straw, and then she was drinking it with the straw. And I just had one, one like this, and I feel like super powered, like super energized, and I feel like I'm talking faster than usual. So um, it does remind me a little bit like I used to drink Red Bull back in the days. <laughs> and you feel like super energized, but it's not that same chemical feeling. This is real, um, like a powerhouse of nutrients. And um, so I'm trying to get the sun in the right, okay. It's, it's um, definitely the healthiest version. So um, I've, I just had a full cup and like this is very nutritious, but just to tease you a little bit, I'm gonna have a little sip right in front of you. Yeah, so you can definitely drink this without the coconut whipped cream. It's super, super good, but the coconut whipped cream makes it very decadent. And I swear, I should have recorded the first time I tested this because I had a smile up to here. And I'm like, I can't believe, like, I, I don't remember the last time I had such a good hot chocolate and oh thanks Melanie <laughs> you're so nice so yeah I well when you eat when you eat food like that I guess you don't have a choice but to glow those food are like healing and energizing and mm. like this doesn't taste healthy this just tastes so good like it tastes so rich and decadent and like it's really a treat. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to make one of those in the cold days or snow days. 
And uh, I'm pretty sure my daughter's gonna ask me some of those uh, pretty soon. Um, if you guys enjoyed this recipe, please click the like button or the hearts. Uh, share, comment, let me know if you try it and how you like it. Um, I also wanted to mention that um, right now I have a special rate for my holiday list program. So if you want to be healthier or get healthier or stay healthier this holiday season, um, you can do that by working with me. So I will post the link in the comment section and you can check that out. And um, this is the kind of treat that uh, I will definitely enjoy this holiday season. And I will definitely make this treat for people that are interested or people that come over. Uh, this is so delicious. So <laughs> I will post the uh, exact recipe in the comments. And um, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So I hope that you guys have an amazing day. I hope you guys get to try this awesome recipe. And if you want more of this, just make sure and let me know. Um, if you want me to share more recipes, just let me know. And tell me what kind of recipes you'd like me to see, you'd like me to do and show you. <laughs> so... I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you again very soon.